Okay, the first of many of uh, these optimization problems. Problem one, we have a box, it's got a square base, mm -hmm. it's got an open top. We're told that it has a volume of four feet cubed, and we are looking for the dimensions that require the least material. Okay. Um, let's draw a picture. There is this square base. I'm going to call that X. And the height, then, I'm going to call that Y. So, of course, it looks a little ridiculous. Um, the top is open. So, hopefully, the picture indicates accurately the situation. You can also draw these things like so. I can unfold this thing. And I can say this distance is y, and all of these distances are x. OK? So y goes this way. And y also goes this way. All right, the pictures are less important than what I'm about to do. And what I'm about to do is I'm going to write down two things. <clears throat> One thing is what we're going to call the constraint. The constraint is that volume. which in any case is x squared times y, is equal to 4. And the thing that we're trying to optimize, the least material, I'm going to name that the objective. In other words, our objective is to have the least material. And this is not an equation. This is just a function. Okay? So the material is going to consist of one square base and one, two, three, four sides, each of which uh, has an area x times y. Okay? So each of these guys is x times y. So, surface area, we'll call it, is going to be x squared plus 4xy. Okay. All of these optimization problems will pretty much have some constraint equation, and they will have some objective equation. I have to use the constraint to get the objective in terms of only one variable. In this case, I'm going to solve for y. y is 4 over x squared, and I'm going to put that here. Okay? So now, what do I have? I have surface area is equal to x squared plus 4x times 4 over x squared. Now, last thing we do, we're going to take the derivative of this thing and set it equal to 0. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do we have? We have x squared plus 16 over x. That's our surface area. Uh, we want the derivative of that. Two x. Um, this is x squared plus sixteen x to the minus one. 
So we'll get minus 16x to the minus 2. Set that equal to 0. Uh, 2x minus 16 over x squared equals 0. Two x equals sixteen over x squared. Two mm -hmm. x cubed is sixteen. X cubed is eight. In other words, x is two. Now, we're not quite done because the question asked us for dimensions. So we have to take this answer zoom out a bit and use our volume equation all the way up here to figure out what y is. So, or I could even, if I wanted to, I've, I've solved for y. y is 4 over x squared. Mm -hmm. So it's probably better uh, y is 4 over x squared, y is 4 over 2 squared, 4 over 4, most people call that 1. Alright, on to the next case.